What's up everybody, welcome to CR Anti Designers, this is Chetan and in this blended tutorial we are going to create this hard surface design. So without further ado, let's get started. To make the design, we are going to use the cube, so shift A add the cube. After that, you need to scale this cube along the Z axis and then you need to scale it along the X axis, as like this. The next thing, you need to apply the scale on the cube. After that, you need to go to the edit mode. And you need to select this edges with shift or select and then ctrl B to add the bevel on it. And add a 4 segment bevel and give the right bevel width at there. After that you need to add one more cylinder with the 16 words and then give the right position to this. And then you need to rotate it into the small angle. Then select this face and the E to extrude this face and move it along its normal Z axis. After that I will use the annotation at here to create that slant line. So I will get the guide where I need to give the right position to this cylinder so I can connect these two objects properly. So according to that, give the right position to your cylinder. That's why you need to turn on your transform orientation to the normal so you can do this easily. Now just go to the edit mode of that cylinder and then use the knife tool here and you need to create a cut along the X axis. So just change the transform orientation to the global and create a cut along the X axis then you can select this bottom faces and then delete these faces and then create a one face add there by pressing F. Okay, now you need to select these faces and then change the transform orientation to the normal and E to extrude these faces along the Z axis. After that you need to use the knife tool add here and create a cut like this. So that's why you need to switch the transform orientation one more time to the global and create a cut along the X axis. After that you can select these faces and you can delete these faces and then you need to select this edge loop and then press F to fill the gap. Okay, now that looks pretty well so just adjust this position along the X axis a little bit. Now you need to give the right position to this cylinder so we can connect these two objects properly. So that's why make sure these two objects should intersect to each other so we can use the boolean operation at there to connect these two objects. And now you can see that cylindrical part looks like that. Then select both object and then shift D to duplicate it and make a backup just for the backup purpose. <laughs> okay. And you can turn off that annotation at there. After that you need to select both objects and then use the boolean operation union and then you can apply that boolean modifier. Now you will get this mesh at here and now just we need to create the right topology at here to maintain this form with the subdivision. So that's why you can select the words, right click, connect the vertex path and create a path in between the words. As like this. Then you can select these edges and then Ctrl X to dissolve these edges because there are double edges. So that's why you need to carefully dissolve these edges. And you can see here I need to use the knife tool and I need to create these vertical cuts along the Z axis. So just use the knife tool and create a cut along the Z axis as like this. So select the first point then press Z and then create a cut. Then you can select everything and then press M and merge by distance so double words will get merged. And here we need to increase the merge threshold so we can merge the words easily. Okay just create one cut at here. I want to create that center cut so I can take the symmetry. So that's why you need to use the knife tool and create that center cut. And then you can create the supportive cuts at here to maintain that cylindrical form to create that right topology. Then you can select the one half of the model and then delete that. So we can add the mirror modifier and we can take the symmetry. And at the bottom side just create the right topology with the help of knife tool and right click connect vertex path. So just select these words, right click connect vertex path and just try to create the right topology at there. Then you can add the center loop cuts like this and just try to connect it. Just try to maintain the good edge flow at there. Then you can select faces and you can use the insert operation. But if I use the insert operation at here, I will face a little bit of difficulty. You can see that difficulty. So that's why I need to create the right loop structure manually. 
so easily we can do that so just add the loop cut like this and then you need to dissolve this edges as like this and here you need to use the knife tool to create that loop structure so with the help of knife tool you can create this kind of loop structure and then select these words right click connect vertex path and create a path in between the words you can select this edge loop and you can use the double tap g for the edge slide as like this okay then you can select everything and then press m and merge by distance so double words will get merged to maintain the good topology i need to use the redirection of edge flow so just select these words right click connect vertex path and give the redirection to it You can do this thing easily. Then select these words and press M and merge by distance. So the double words will get merged and create another loop cut at there with the help of knife tool. And now you can see that looks pretty well. Just add few more loop cuts at there. And here you can use knife tool and then create those supporting loop cuts. Easily you can do this thing. Here you need to create the loop structure for that cylinder to maintain its form. So use the knife tool and create that curve loop structure at there. Then you can select these words and then press M and merge at the center. And now you can see that looks really well. Just add one loop cut at here or you can use the knife tool at here to create the cut and to add that loop cut as like this. Then add a few more loop cuts at there. And here I need to create the right topology. You can see there are double words, so you need to merge the words at here. So just select the words merge at the center and then you can add the loop cuts like this. Just add this kind of support to loop cuts and then try to create a right loop structure at there. So just add the loop cuts like this. These are the support to loop cuts to maintain that good form on the model. And then you can select these faces and I will use the insert operation and then press B to avoid the border at there. So press I for the insert operation and then B to avoid the border. After that you can take the symmetry along the Y axis and then select everything press M and merge by distance. So double words will get merged. And then you can add this kind of loop cuts at here. And then you can use the knife tool at here and then use the double tap G for the each slide to add the loop cut like this. And here I need to dissolve these each loops. Here I need to weld the words to maintain the good form on that cylindrical shape. Then you can select the spaces, press I for the insert operation. Then you can dissolve that center each loop and here you need to merge the words. So use the insert operation one more time and then merge the words like this. It means you need to weld these words and then you can take the symmetry along the x axis and then you can select this face and use the loop tool and then circle option at there. Use the rotate tool, change the transform orientation to the normal and then try to give the right rotation angle to this. And then you can adjust the scale and use the insert operation one more time and create a little bit of boolean at there. So that's why you need to just extrude it and use few more time the insert operation to add few more loop cuts. Then you can add the sub D modifier on it and change the sub D count up to 2. And then you need to add the support to loop cuts like this. Here also I need to add the loop cuts like this. So we are not getting that proper loop cut add there because there will be n gons so that's why you can use the knife tool at here and you can create a cut like this and we are getting the weird shading at here a little bit so we can manage that you can add the loop cut like this and you can create a path in between the words to manage that weird shading 
and then just give the right position to the words. Now just I will create a little bit of design at there on the model. Just try to refine your model as much as you can. Then you can shade smooth it and it looks really well. Just add a few more loop cuts right here. Then you can select these bottom faces and then you need to use the insert operation at here. So press I for the insert operation. Then I will create a boolean detail set there. So that's why you need to select these faces with the help of extra mode and you need to press I for the insert operation. As well like this. Then use the loop tool and then circle option. And then press I for the insert operation, then delete these faces, then select these edge loops and then right click breach edge loop. And create a boolean at here. Then you can select these faces with the shift or select and then you can press I for the insert operation just to add a few more loop cuts at there. And then add a few more loop cuts at here and just try to create a little bit of design on it. And now you can see the model looks decent. Just refine that model as much as you can to get more decent looking results. Just check the transform orientation and now you can see the model looks decent. Now I just want to add more details on it. So I will create those details. You can see the model looks decent, in this way you can create this kind of model. So that's it for today, thanks for watching, if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Bye bye, see so next video, take care.